Hello everyone. So in this video, we'll learn about while loops in Python. So let's get started. So similar to other programming languages, um, while loops allow you to uh, execute or, um, you know, execute a set of commands, a set of statements, as long as a particular condition is true, a condition that's given is true. So uh, as far as syntax, um, you need uh, initial conditions and then test expression, uh, which if it's true, then you enter the body of the loop. And if it's false, then you exit out of the loop. So let's kind of uh, get into some examples here so you can kind of see uh, how to apply it. Let's start with uh, given an initial condition of uh, i equal uh, 0, for example. So the syntax goes like this, while i is, you know, whatever the condition is. So let's say um, while i is less than 10, and then um, colon, then you enter the body of the loop. So what are you wanting to do while this condition is true, while i, while I is less than 10? So let's say I want to print i. So... One thing that we forget a lot is to iterate. So you have to increment, or else if you don't increment, this is what I mean by incrementing, meaning you're gonna have to keep the loop going, um, you know, for when you print i. Because if you don't, then the loop is gonna continue forever and ever and ever. So let's actually do that before I do the increment. So let's print this and see what, what it does. So this right here, it's going to keep going and going and going forever because I'm not incrementing i. So you have to make sure that you increment i, you add 1. That way, um, if you run it, um, then uh, you see. So you're going to keep printing here. So your initial condition is 0, right? So for as long as uh, i is less than 10, I'm going to print whatever the value of i is at the time. So I'm starting with 0. So I'm checking here this condition. 0 is less than 10. True. That is the test um, expression. Uh, and I'm printing this. I'm printing i. In this case, is 0. So this is right here. That's the result. And then I'm going to increment. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. And I go back to the loop right here. So now i is equal to 1. 1 is less than 10. Yes, that's true. Print i. At the time, i is 1, so I'm printing 1. Okay? So you keep going like that all the way to 9 because you check for 9. 9 is less than 10. True. You print 9. And then you increment, right? So here in this case, you have 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. And you come back in here and check the condition. So 10 is less than, is 10 less than 10? That's false, obviously. And so you exit out of the loop. So that's kind of how the, the logic goes, the flow chart in a sense. So remember to iterate uh, the value of i, otherwise it's going to continue. Uh, the loop is going to keep going and going like we've seen earlier. However, if you want to um, stop the loop, even if this condition is true, uh, you can use uh, the break statement. That's what they call the break statement. Um, so this is how you use it. So for example, you want to exit the loop. So the loop stops here um, at 9, but you want to stop, let's say, at 5, right? So you, we know that 6 is less than 10, you know, 7 less than 10. You could keep going, right, until 9. But let's say I want to stop at 5. I don't want to keep going. I want to stop at 5. So you can do it this way. If i, for example, is equal to 5, then use a break. So break will um, stop at 5. And let's run this and see. You see? So even though, um, you know, you could, you could have gone all the way to 9, but I'm using the break statement to stop the loop, even if this, you know, while the condition is true for, you know, um, all the way, uh, but... You know, you, so you can use a break statement to stop the loop or, you know, for whatever condition um, you want if the, you know, while the condition is still true. 
So that's what you use the, uh, the break uh, uh, statement for. So uh, you can also um, still within you know the while loop um, uh, statement and whatnot. Uh, you can continue. You can use the uh, continue statement if you want to stop the current iteration and then continue with the next. Right. So break statement um, is going to, uh, like I said, stop the loop. At a certain condition, you know, while this condition is true, but a uh, continue statement is going to stop the current iteration and then continue with the next. So this is how it goes, for example. So um, while i is less than um, 10, I want to iterate here, i plus 1. So if, uh, if i is equal to to five, I want to continue. Let's just do this. So so continue, and then uh, let's print i here. Print i. So let's run this and see uh, what the output is. So note here that um, five is actually skipped, and that's what I was saying. So it's going to iterate, iterate, iterate all the way to five. And it's going to stop there, right? It's going to skip five and then continue with the next. So that's why five is missing here because of this continue, uh, continue statement. So that's really the difference between continue and break, uh, break statements. So uh, else statement is uh, just like we've seen with if, if statement. Um, you can also apply else with while uh, loops. So um, similar to if statements, it's going to just run uh, whatever code you have underneath the else when the condition, when the above condition is no longer true. So um, let's say, you know, we just want to say else. So you want to do this. If this is no longer true, um, I can have, you know, any anything here that I want. Let's say exit out of the loop, for example. Yeah, so let's run this. So it's going to run, like we've seen, all the way to 9. It's going to increment. It's going to come back here. Uh, you know, 9 plus 1, it would be 10. It's going to check. So uh, is 10 less than 10? That's false, obviously. So because that, you know, the condition is no longer true, now it's going to print whatever is underneath the else statement. Okay? So that's why you see here, after 9, uh, it's going to print exit out of the loop underneath the, uh, the else. So remember, with while loops, um, initial conditions, test expression, that's really the syntax, um, and then condition whatever statement you want to do, and then don't forget to increment. And we've seen um, break statement, what it does. We've seen continue statement, what it does. We've also seen um, you know, the else statement, what it does. So uh, just practice uh, with a few examples with while loops uh, using the different things that we've seen so far, um, and let me know if you have any, any questions. Thank you. Thank you.